All right, y'all, I'm back, and are you y'all ready for this shit shiznit? Summer Game Test is just about to start, and I'm ready. I got me some pizza pockets. I got me some uh, Mountain Dew Zero. Only thing I'm missing is Doritos, but I think that was overkill. No Doritos for the Dorito Pope this time, sadly. But I think the Mountain Dew will do. The Mountain will do. I'm just, I'm just saying. All right. Any predictions, chat? Any predictions? Uh, they're gonna show games. I know that for sure. Sip of this dew. Oh yeah, that's that's the dew of the mountains. The dew of the mountain people, as Bill would say. All right. I just want to see more Monster Hunter. I want more information on Monster Hunter. That's one thing. But Capcom, I think, might have their own thing. We'll see what happens. All right. Well, it's about to start, folks. Y'all ready for this? There are 352,000 people watching right now. It's crazy. Oh boy, here we go, 30 seconds. Mmm. The pizza pops are so hot. I need them to cool down a little bit first. Alright. Here we go. Alright. Let's go. Uh, okay. Viewer discretion is advised, guys. Please welcome to the stage the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keighley. Oh shit. It's the Dorito Pope. Uh, yes. Yes, Karama, that's what I know. Yes. Uh, it's this day of the devs, and then the Summer Game Fest 2024. You ready to see some video games? I think we are so thrilled to be here with you, and this is a showcase of what's next for games live from the YouTube Theater here in LA. Now, if you're watching this show, first of all, welcome. I know everyone around the world is joining us for this special moment. And I know if you watch this show, you don't just play games, you deeply care about this art form and the mm -hmm. health of this industry. The mm -hmm. good news is that we have a lot of amazing games to show you from creators around the world over the next two hours. <laughs> but let's also face it, this has been a tumultuous and difficult year with company layoffs and studio closures, which have disappointed all of us. Mm -hmm. But there's also something else happening. Our industry is evolving and changing. And thanks to digital distribution, smaller teams and new creators are finding incredible success. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this list from Game Discover of the top 10 best-selling new games on Steam oh, yeah, so Power far World. this year. Two of them are considered, you know, big company games, but the other eight come from indie, mid-sized teams, or solo developers. I look at this list, it's pretty cool, right? And I get inspired that new ideas, new teams, and smaller and he's the way to go, man. can and Indie will Indie games have been amazing through. this year. It's a reminder to big year. companies that they have to treat their developers right because today there are many paths And that's why I keep playing indie games on stream because you never know what could be the next big game. industry so, so great. Or what could be your next favorite game. Nice. And you'll see that reflected in the show today because over the next two hours, we'll have big franchises on stage like Star Wars, Batman, and Harry Potter, but also smaller titles, including a few games made by like, single individuals. Magicians, -time Chase, we invited to be part I'm of getting the show so much out of we think for a game that I paid 500 yen for. A way to show you new things that you might or not less than 500 yen. So when you see a game that piques your interest, 
please wish list it or even better, send it to a friend and get them excited. That's how we together can grow the gaming community. Yeah, Harry we Potter, I heard that. that today like, mm. over the next two hours as we have a lot of games to show you, mm. plus Day of the Devs directly after with even more indie titles. So should we get to the games? Hell yeah, Day of the Devs. All right. My boy Pano is apparently the games right these now. Two. Here's our first announcement. Next. Uh, hey, look, this is a hot dog guy auditioning for the um, ooh, the lead and announced action game. Wow. We see you as more of a sidekick. Oh sure, I get that a lot, but uh, check out my range. Okay, okay. Mm -la -la -la. Rage, empathy. Oh, hilarity. <laughs> Hey, what game is this anyway? Hey, look here. hey, neat costume. I gotta get me no. one. No sandwich. Sorry, gotta go. Maybe it's like our world. Also, guys, just a reminder in the chat don't say it if you're ahead of me, don't say what it is. Not that you did, Sab. You were just estimating. But I'm just putting that out there for anybody watching. A lonely hero. Hunting machines. All no, no, you're fine. Hello. I said, Friends you're fine. Um, right. You're just a speculating. Hero. Hunting with her pal. Just remember, you might be a little ahead of me. This reminds me of the classic uh, Lego Star Wars games. And making a home. Hey, Lloyd, the Thunder Jaw's back. Oh, right, the Thunder Jaw. Ooh, that's a big one. Here we go. Mmm, I just replied, damn it. Whatever. They're talking over it, it might be okay. Yeah, I think Lego City was the last one. That was on Wii U. Oh, it's just Lego Horizons. Wait, it's gonna be on Switch? What? There you go. Wasn't that fun? That was Lego Horizon Adventures coming out later this year for PlayStation, but also day one on PC and Nintendo Switch. It's a playful, lighthearted story. They're putting a Horizons game on Horizon Switch? Designed with two-player action in mind, wow. supporting couch and online co-op. All right, now we're going to completely shift the tone to the next game from Torn Banner Studios, the developers behind Chivalry 2. That's what I was saying, Nightman. Also, hi, Nightman. We're proud to announce No More Room in Hell 2. The sequel to the 2011 award-winning source mod. Eight but players start separate. In how the can dark. it be no more room in hell to too? To find your friends and survive. With we the already know there's no more room in Here hell. Here is the first look. Shouldn't it be still no more room in hell? Yeah, but I mean like a big Lego release. I never played the first No More Room in Hell. Is it good? This makes me think it might be fun. No More Room in Hell 2, still out of room. <laughs> Look at that face. Karama, are you still at work, or are you at home? Because I can pop you in. Oh, I see. Okay, it must just be dead. All right. Hold on, break. Ah, I see. Hi, Leah. Yes. Brains. Eight-player co-op, eh? Oh, is this like dying late? <sighs> I got kind of excited. I'm like, oh, it looks like a survival horror game. And then I'm like, eh. But there's no more room in hell, too, dude. 
You can't tell him to go to hell. There's no more room in hell, Coming too. This Halloween looks really, really intense. All right. To introduce our next game, please join me in welcoming someone who I've known for over a decade. She's been a huge fan of some of our reveals. Like they still miss a chance to call it still ago, no course, more room in hell. Seven rebirth last year when she was sitting in the audience. Well, this year she's joining us on stage. We're thrilled to have her with us. Please welcome Curious Joy. Curious Joy. Wait, is it her? Awkward developer lady? No. Thank you, Jeff. Sorry, Hi, I got everyone. excited I am for a so second. I'm so excited to be here at Summer Game Fest. I'm here with you today to share some even more super fun trailers. So let's get straight to another world premiere. This is a highly anticipated game from a beloved franchise. Let's take a look. Hmm. World premiere. As young witches and wizards, we all dream of oh. soaring through the sky like our favorite heroes. When it comes to Quidditch, oh, it's fucking we've all wondered, Harry Potter. Do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? Oh, it's a Quidditch game? <laughs> to beat your toughest opponent? A fucking Quidditch game. To keep your composure in the face of adversity. They needed a good Quidditch game. Didn't they have to one on, like, the PS2? To seek glory for your team. No challenge is too great. No dream is too big. So ask yourself. Is it Quidditch that game where, like, Do you, have the heart of the you show during the Pride Month? Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of a bad, bad thing to show during Pride Month. Jeff, you fucked up. You should to them, eh, not during Pride Month. I mean, not ever, but. Until J.K. Rowling's in the ground, I will not be playing any Harry, Harry Potter. Potter Quidditch champions launching worldwide on September 3rd for consoles and PC. Now we move from the Potterverse to a brand new world. It hails from a single developer, Gavin Eisenbeis, up in Seattle, who has been making games all by himself for a decade. His last title, Quidditch on the GameCube? Choo Choo Charles, mm. was a fan favorite, and he oh. showed me mm. this next game a few months ago, and I really wanted to debut it here. Choo Choo, Choo Charles, dude? Stab race or cooperate with up to 20 of your friends uh -huh. in Cuff Bust. In what? Oh, a prison break game? Wait, I played a game like this recently. Man, these games are becoming dime a dozen these cooperative uh escape slash do things game. Like last year we had Lethal Company. This year we had uh content warning. And probably next year it'll be this game. I swore I play, played a game like this. Where you were in a prison and you had to get out. I thought it was meh. But this could be something, because it's from the person who made you two trials. Prison Break on 360 based on the late 2000s show. Yes. 100% blind. That's what it is. Cuff Bus. Coming 2005, maybe, I don't know. That's a fun one, right? And remember, that's all made by one person. Congratulations, Gavin. So glad to have that on stage. All right, next one of this year's most anticipated games is Star Wars Outlaws, coming out on August 30th 
from Ubisoft and Lucasfilm Games. People care about this game? World Star Wars game where you live the life All I keep the hearing is it's bad. On Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific, you'll get to see a full gameplay showcase during I guess we'll find out when it comes event, out. Streaming as part of the continuing Summer Game Fest events. But right now, we've got an exclusive new glimpse at the game. Just a small taste. Why people wooed. <laughs> Leah, you're not wrong. By the way, Leah, if you want to like watch with me, you can like commentate with me again. Let's raise the stakes. But if you're comfy, I won't make you do that. Ah, uh, migraine. Ah, uh, you know what? I understand. I had a migraine yesterday. Yeah, yes. You you take it easy. Get nice and comfy. Do you have a cup of tea? I hope you do. It doesn't look that bad. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad, but I don't know. People were not happy about it. By the way, I'm just noticing everything we're showing you so far, I think is going to be, you know, coming out, uh, you know, this year, Cuff Bus. I'm not quite sure, but it's like it's so cool that there's stuff that we're going to get to play in the next few months here. All right, well... Moving back to smaller teams, a few weeks ago I had a chance to play through this next game, and I have to say, it is really spectacular. Neva comes from Nomada Studio, the creators of the game award winning game Grease. It chronicles the story of Alba, a woman bound to a curious wolf cub. Here's your first ever look at the gameplay. Hmm. Here's a Grease. I need to play Grease. I have it. I need to play through it. You're all cute, puppy. Yeah, this looks... We did see it last year? Oh, okay. <gasps> puppy! Puppy made it. I need to play Grease. This just reminds me I need to play Grease. I love the art style. These guys absolutely nail it with art style. These are what I like to call um, cinematic platformers, cinematic side scrollers. Because, like, they look so just cinematic, and the art style is always really good. The only problem I have with some of these games is they like, sometimes focus too much on puzzles. And. Not that I don't like puzzles, I'm just really bad at them. That's my problem. To get the game awards. Oh. <laughs> Blondie, when I saw that that thing, I just remembered also puppy. <laughs> From your Okami Den review. This comes out this year, Trust okay. Me, that game is such a true work of art, especially when we get into some of the combat. It is tons of fun to play. And there's much more coming later today in the Devolver Direct, which will air directly after the day. Well, of not the to nitpick, same but stream. cinematic so platforms are usually right, what next, games it's like OG Prince of Persia are the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean. Like, they're, they're made to have a lot of, like, um, they're meant to have a lot of spectacle. In the way they look. These walls of They're meant to be pretty games, so... I still like them. I'm, there's nothing wrong with them. I'm just saying, I've I've played a few where, like, they, the puzzles, they just, they just, like, throw the puzzles at you non-stop, and I'm like... Some of them I have to be careful about, because I could, uh... Anyways. I don't know what the point I was making. In, at the end, it looks good. I'm probably gonna play it. I need to play Grease. I heard Grease is really good. I own it, I just haven't played it yet. I really should. There's another one on the pile I gotta play. This looks interesting though. It's going through the eras. You know what? You know what I've also I've noticed? A lot of games have, like, the trades in them. I wonder if they're trying to say something. Sid Meier's Civilization 7. Interesting. Okay. You called it? Hello, everyone at Summer Game Fest. On behalf of the Firaxis team, we are thrilled to finally announce 
that Civilization 7 is coming day and date to PC and consoles next year. I'm in awe of the amazing team that has brought us to this moment. How long ago was Civ 6? We also have to thank you, our incredible fans around the world, for your overwhelming support of this franchise for over 30 years. Has it we been a while? I seem to remember Civ 6 like not coming out not that long ago. For the full reveal of Civilization 7. In the meantime, stay civilized. Ah. Uh. Oh, 2016. Okay, so it's been eight years since the last Civ game. Yeah. Okay, so it's been a while. I don't know. It feels like it was not that long ago. I always hear people talk about Civ 4. That's why I'm like, huh. Is that Lubu? Did I spot friggin' Lubu? This is uh, Dynasty Warriors, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. Oh, no! Oh, this is the... The Wukong game. Black Dynasty, yeah. He had the thing, so I thought it was... Lu Bu. Black Myth Wukong, yeah. This game looks sick. Oh, it comes out in August. Ooh. Yeah, they did, but it's uh, it's been in development for a while. Oh, you can get a, uh, a Wukong uh, headband. That's cool. This game looks really cool. We've been needing a good Journey to the West game that's actually the story of Journey to the West or close to it. What's this? Oh. VR something? VR Assassin's Creed? Alright. See you later, hon. Asgard's Wrath. Okay. Have a rest your shift. Love you. Perhaps humans were fated to build the monoliths. Reaching heaven and returning with a gift. Stardust. But mankind was given more than it wished for. Not progress, but chaos. Control! Every new height brings a terrible fall. I know, I'm not funny. Starry Studio. Glimmers, even in the depths of the unknown. Should I turn the actually should I turn the subtitles on? We die to live again. Oh, they're a little delayed. The smallest creatures show the greatest resilience. Wherever we remain standing, we stand together. Wow. This once human comes out two days after my birthday. What does greatness mean to you? Oh, great, an ad with probably some copyrighted music that I need to mute. Yeah, let's. Samsung's game service. It has retro games? Wow. Did I learn today? There are official emulators on iOS and stuff now. That's crazy. I might actually get some use out of my iPad. Finally, it's equal to two human. Once human, shut up, Blondie. Oh, more. Oh, it's Warhammer. The numbers are endless. Is this Dark Tide? I still need to play Dark Tide. Asky gifted it to me. And, uh, I've been, I've tried to plan to play it with friends a couple of times, but uh, it's fallen through. Oh, Space Marine. Okay. All right. Welcome back to Summer Game Fest. Uh, we've got some amazing developer guests joining us throughout the show, and I'm very excited to introduce our first guests. They are legendary creators who are working on a brand new fantasy RPG, Metaphor, slated to launch uh, this October. Metaphor. Please welcome the director and art designer of Persona 3, 4, and 5, Katsura Ooh. Hoshino and Shikanori Sojima. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Metaphor. I remember we were talking about this. Thank you, everybody. It is a pleasure to be here. My name is Hashino, and I am the director of Metaphor. You see the final it is a pleasure to be here. You see the final place we're going to be here. Making us here. I would love that. Probably not. Is it actually a thing, or is that still just an, a fan thing? Archetype, to you, how can the game do you talk about the job? This, 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 this game is an RPG in which the party members transform into their jobs, which we call archetypes. These archetypes allow you to fight against your enemies. Archetypes there's been leaks, like actual leaks though, like, because all I've seen is the fan one. Archetypes are the embodiment of power born from the will to face your fears and anxieties. We gave it our all What's to a paladin? each and every archetype with a feeling of strength and uniqueness in each of their designs. In total, there will be more than 40 types of archetypes available in the game. These archetypes can totally gain not experience persona. and even evolve. Some of them can evolve into no, no, versions. no, Leah. It's the dress spheres from Final Fantasy X. <laughs> Looks turn based. What's wrong with turn based? Turn based is great. I love turn based. I prefer turn based actually. See, Nightman, I heard that so before, we and we didn't get Pokemon Gold and Silver remakes to make it as exciting as possible. Uh, during the in Pokemon fact, thing, we even brought our latest February. trailer today, so, which is centered around the topic of these archetypes. Thank you very much. Leaks are still rumors it. until they're announced. It is said that we all have inherited heroic virtues deep within us. The reality is. We oppress. We fight. Ah. I'm surprised you played Honkai Star Rail for as uh, long as you did, because it's turn based. I'm an old school RPG player, so I love turn based. Only time will tell, exactly. Yes, he's the dress for from Final Fantasy X, too. Protectors and followers will people are going to be upset at me for making that comparison. Remind people that the same powers lie dormant within them. On God! Make it fun. You must I mean, more archetypes and bring them. Together. I'm biased because I like stuff like Pokemon and Final Fantasy. And I mean, I'm streaming Thousand Year Door now. So. An archetype whose existence was only theoretical. You wield power now. But yeah, this is them saying it's a new IP. But it's really just Persona. So would that make this a spiritual successor of a spinoff? Such an honor to have a Shino and Persona is technically a spinoff of Super Gummy Tensei. Look at the archetype, such stunning visual designs. Now we're going to jump into the Arkhamverse. Batman Arkham Shadow is a Meta Quest 3 exclusive VR game coming later this year. As Batman, you face a new threat the mysterious Rat King and his cultish devotee. Here's your first look at the story trailer for Batman Arkham Shadow. See, I like that. I like the strategy. But I get it. It's a VR a new game. Darkness overtaking Gotham, driving the city mad. I gotta play all the Arkham, other the Arkham games first. Left is from the fire in the streets, casting shadows of rats on everything that was once good. Fear is their weapon, but they're not the only Ooh, ones. You forget the dear old Rat King. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yeah, I've been meaning to play them. The Rat King will stop at nothing to destroy my city. How far will I go to destroy him? I love how they hype up a villain like the Rat King. Oh, you can't play it on Quest 2? Fuck. Guess I'm not playing that. I think it's Quest 3 now. My brother's getting a Quest 3, though. When the bat falls, the rats rise. It's not the Joker for the Hunter's Head. Yes, I'll say that. I am looking forward to heading back to the Arkhamverse. Now, it is time to update fans on a legendary fighting game franchise. And that includes oh. me. Because I have been a fan of this series ever since one of its first iteration and have been playing each one ever since. So, let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, no way. Oh, hell yes. Yes! Hell yes. Terry, my boy. And that's my, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Sab, did you have you drawn my? If you haven't, you really should. Wait, they're coming to Street Fighter 6? What? No. Oh, I thought it was going to be another King of Fighters. But hey, if they're coming to Street Fighter 6, another reason to get 6. Mm. M. Bison, Terry, Lena, and I join the fight in year 2. So yeah, they're coming to Street Fighter 6. That's pretty sick. New Capcom versus SNK, yeah. The Dragon Meteor Invasion. Okay. The Scots rebelled! Oh, I'm Scottish! I need to get Street Fighter 6, I really do. I might wait till I get a PS5 though to get it. Tears of Metal! I need to get Street Fighter 6. It's gonna take me a bit to get a PS5 though. This looks kind of fun. It's like a level-based style of, like, a Musou game, I guess? I'm here for it. Yeah, this looks really fun. God, I hope this is multiplayer. Looks like it might. Oh. You ruined it. You literally ruined it. Really? A roguelike? Oh. That looks so cool. Now I don't want to play it. Because it ruins the game! Just give me. They could have just made a Dynasty Warriors clone. That's all they had to do. Anyways, this game, I, I'm glad that they're making it up. Wait, who's the new voice of Frieza? Because the last voice of Frieza passed away. I think he was the best voice of Frieza, though. So... Now 
I it must be a new VA. I hope so, because it doesn't sound like the old one. So, I'm not a fan of Tenkaichi. I like the regular Budokai games, but this looks fun. Sparking Zero, aka Budokai Four, or not Budokai Four, um, Budokai um. Tenkaichi 4. There you go, Internet. We got so. your release date for Sparking Zero, October 11th. Now we step into the world of Delta Force. Diamond Fox, Mill. Diamond Mill has been shooter Frieza and Super. The voice of Frieza from Super, he Here's passed away. Multiplayer FPS extraction mode. He passed away. Team, rally up. We've got a new mission. Operation Lightning Strike. He can't be the same actor. The situation at Zero Dam is now very serious. The conflict's escalating between Havoc Corps and Alsara Guard. It's time to take action. Right, Objectives. Collect and decode the Mandel Brick, located at the tourist center at the southeast region. We need to utilize terrain for stealth insertion. Execute Demon Mills is the colonel. Okay. Uh, voice of Freeza. Looks like someone beat us to it. We need to pick up the pace. Chris Ayers, that's who it was. He was voicing Frieza. Did he? I thought he quit. I thought he did all of Super. I'm pretty sure he did. Chris Ayers is my favorite Frieza. Before Super ended? Oh, okay. That's all for mission briefing. The drill is over. Hmm. Operation commences. Good luck. Rest in peace, Chris Harris. But Damon is is pretty good too. But Whoa, Delta Force. All. The game's so cool. premium campaign mode, Black Hawk Down, is a reimagining of the original game that is also fully licensed to recreate cool. all it's the a shooter game. Ridley Scott movie. Here is your world premiere first look at that gameplay. Excuse me? Black Hawk down? Wow. Time to get more tea. Yeah. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. All units prepared for landing. Capture a team in your cabinet. Over. Get down, get down. Enemy Enemy yeah, I mean they just say Ridley Scott. For a second I thought it was an alien thing. Because they always put alien in stuff. And now, I have an update for you on Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. <laughs> for real. Wait, there's time. a new Fatal Fury game? What? Well, there is a new Fatal Fury game. Wait, it's not King of Fighters, it's Fatal Fury? Like, literally just Fatal Fury? They haven't done that in a while. Damn. That doesn't happen. You don't become hit Master Chief. We all wish we could. 
Hell yeah, I want to play that Fatal Fury game. One of these days I want to do like a fighting game tour where I go through all the fighting games that I own and try to beat the arcade mode or story mode or whatever the main mode is. Because a lot of them I've never finished the main mode. I think that'd be a fun scream idea. I don't know if this music is copyrighted. It feels like it might be. And actually, I kind of need to use the bathroom. But I should wait and see. Eh, I'll go real quick, guys. I'll be back. We're back here at Summer Game Fest, and that was a look at Mecha Break with its immersive aerial and ground combat with lightning fast maneuvers. Next, Jason Blum and his Blumhouse banner have become synonymous with incredible horror films over the years, like Get Out, Megan, and last year's Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, now Blumhouse is entering the video game world in a big way. Dark times await us. Vengeance will take shape. I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. I must not sleep. I am terrified to sleep, and I am scared to death to stay awake. Don't worry, Viv. If any ghosts actually show up, I'll protect you. Amy? I'll save you, no matter what. Just go home, Viv. Amy! The local police department asked me to help with a case. Why would they need a game designer? should have some developer mode. Dark times await us.
Please welcome Jason Blum, CEO and founder of Blumhouse, and Luis Blaine, creative lead at Blumhouse Games. Hey guys, so we got ourselves a full slate there. That's incredible. So, so Jason, tell us a bit about uh, why did you want to get into games like this? What are we doing? Well, we've been uh, very, very busy. Um, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for having us. Thank you guys all. Great to hear uh, the fans out there. Uh, you'll, you'll all be very happy to know we're working at this very minute on the sequel of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's coming. Don't worry. Anyway, horror is, uh, to my great relief, getting more and more popular. Our movies are working. It's working on streaming. It's working in live events. And we wanted to try and take our approach to movies and apply it to games. And that's what you see here. We're going to do independent games. We're going to look for creators and give them a platform and, and encourage these creators to be weird and subversive and find the most effed up, scariest things they can and put them into really <laughs> cool games. <laughs> Well, they, they look they look great. It's a really diverse, cool slate. Uh, Luis, tell us a bit about, we saw a bunch of games there. What can you tell us about kind of the overall lineup of games? Well, as you just saw from our slate, our horror games are a lot like Blumhouse movies. They come in many different flavors of fear, which means there's a horror game for everyone. So maybe you're a fan of nostalgic 90s experiences with a bit of a twist, intense first-person shooters, or maybe, Jeff, you just want some bonus murder in your otherwise very cozy farming sim. <laughs> I think, you know, we as horror fans, we know that there are so many different subgenres to explore. And our independent development partners, they feel the same and they're just as excited, which means we've got psychological nightmares, we have supernatural scares, we have cosmic horror. And our team has worked really hard to work with global, creative, talented partners. And that means for us that we really want to, as we're working in indie projects, yeah. which means that we can take risks, you know, we can be flexible, and really we can push the limits of what's possible in scary storytelling, and we're so excited. Yeah, no, it, it looks, looks awesome, all the stuff you have there, and I know, you know, we'll get into when games are coming out, but some of these are coming soon, Jason, right? We got a good slate. Well, of yeah, we're on, uh, we're on PC and console, and, um, and, uh, yeah, we wanted to start with uh, with not just one, but we wanted to start with a few games. So, uh, so you want to you want to tell us about those? Yeah. So, Fear the Spotlight is our first release coming yeah. later this year, and it really hits our mission statement. It's an amazing '90s horror experience. It's got great characters, a compelling narrative. It's also super creepy, and I think people will be big fans of it, even if you're not normally into horror. And quickly, actually, Fear the Spotlight is getting its first trailer as part of the yeah. Day of the Dev Showcase. So, stay tuned after the show. Directly after. Awesome. Well, I know this is just the start so we'll probably be seeing you in future years with more from uh, Blumhouse Games but guys what do you think of the slate pretty amazing right what these guys are pulling off Jason Luis thanks so much for being here on Summer Games thank you guys all right and now here's the world premiere of a brand new Power Rangers game with a retro feel
I was muted that whole fucking time. I'm stupid. The one game I got really excited for, I was muted. I'm silly. Anyways, recap what I said while I was muted. Um, that looks awesome. I hope it's not shit, uh, like, not boring like the last uh, Power Rangers beat em up game was. It looks really cool. We'll incorporate things with other rangers, and I hope the the um, uh, the uh, Zord fights are uh, not just quick time events, like they've been in almost every other modern Power Rangers game. Deer and Boy looks cool what too. A beautiful game, it's cute. Deer and Boy, which comes from first time developer Jason Houdet in Paris, who started that project alone in 2020. I'm sorry, I forgot to unmute myself, guys. That's my bad. But I'm, I'm a VTuber. Does anybody expect anything less? French government and games like that, or why we do this show, giving first time developers a chance to show you what they're working on. All right, next, after a long wait, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is arriving later this year. This is a first-person open-world action RPG. Did he deliver his cum? What? Here is a brand the King came? Look. He delivered it? Or your team instead of just Mighty Morphin, that would be cool. Yeah, I know that Mighty Morphin is going to sell the best, but I'm like, if you're going to do a time travel thing, you got to include Time Force. Come on. At least. Or maybe even SPD. SPD takes place next year. Like, literally. SPD takes place next year. And if you watched, uh... If anybody here watched, um... Cosmic Fury, they actually tied that in. So technically, SPD takes place after Cosmic Fury. So I might suggest... Next year, for Toka Tuesday, we watch SPD. Praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, there are many sinners in this world. <laughs> yeah, like that person in fucking end, that chick. We all face your judgment for what we should have done, but lacked the courage to do. The last time I ran away, I lost everything. I'm never gonna run from that fucker again. Kiss our asses! God. Is this retribution for my sins? To the task! Dishonored Catholicism version edition? No, this is Kingdom Come 2 Deliverance. The king's gonna come. He's gonna deliver his come. Next, we step into the dark mind of Silent Hill creator Keuchiro Toyama-san. Uh, back in 2021, we announced his new game, Slitterhead, at the Game Awards, and now we're giving you a look at the gameplay from his independent Tokyo-based studio. Oh, we finally get to see more of this game. Come um, exactly, Leah, you get it. The king has delivered his cum. What? Okay, we should probably stop talking about this. <laughs> but I'm interested in this. This is Slitherhead. Shit. Your parasite? Is that what it means by Slitherhead? You slither into other people's heads? Wait, which heads?
This does look pretty sick. That's silly Gatling gun. The, what if we made a JRPG? Looks like someone read the first chapter of Paris. Yeah. What if we made a JRPG? Oh God, what is this? Why are you playing as a butt face? Shooting other butt faces. That's what I call a dramatic entrance. There's a reason why I'm called Killer Bean. It's because I'm good oh. at what I do. It's, it's about beans? Really? Really? Good. What? Shut up. I used to be an assassin for the Shadow Agency. Need to watch the movie on YouTube? What an movie? international organization powerful enough to shape the world. Until they lied to me and tried to kill me. Bean? Now, I'm gonna destroy them. What is this about the beans? <laughs> I don't get it. You're the guy starring idiot who wants to take down the Shadow Agency. <laughs> Well, it is sure nice to meet you before you die. What is with these bean people? What is going on? Why is he breakdancing dodging? God damn it. This is ridiculous. I kind of am here for it. This is like James Pond. I am, and I will make them pay for it. Killer Bean. Even the logo looks generic. What the fuck is that? Glad you like that one. That was Killer Bean, a third-person roguelike shooter made by another <sighs> single developer. Pass. Believe it or not, right here in Los Angeles. Pass. You said Jeff roguelike. Blue, who previously Pass. worked as an animator on movies like The Matrix Reloaded. Um, so fun. It's amazing what can happen in this industry. That's All the right, second so time I've been disappointed by a game. Brand new game. That happens to be a Please light. welcome from the Game Bakers, a small independent studio in Montpellier, France, Audrey Le Prince and Emmerich Taw. Did I disconnect? Hello, Jeff, everyone. I'm very happy to be here. When we created our studio, Emmerich and I, we promised each other to always uh, come up with something new. So after Fury and Haven, we're here to introduce our new game, Care, well, a survival climber. Bondi, when I was a teenager, I'm not going to explain myself again. I, I've said many times why I don't like roguelikes. I think they ruin cool games. Why do that's that's what I think. It is. I think it, they just ruin cool conditions. games. This is something we wanted to explore uh, in Care. If it's a rogue light, a that's fine. Rogue like is the limits. problem. You Rogue climb Light a is even pushing to reach it, a but summit still. never reached before. And the climbing gameplay is a challenge. It's very intense and realistic. It's a face-off between you and the mountain. And what you're going to see now? in the trailer is not from cutscenes. It's the actual climbing gameplay. <laughs> you can see more later today during Day of the Devs, but now let's have a look. Okay. Gotta get up that mountain. The funny thing about all these games that are technically roguelikes, I bet none of the people who made these even played rogue. No! 
See, this is the pro. This game will probably give me, like, make me scared, so I probably wouldn't be able to play it. Like, I don't have a. My fear heights isn't as intense as it used to be, but it's still pretty bad. Celeste. Less Celeste, more. Right. I love how she gets to the top of that mountain. She gets frustrated because there's an even bigger mountain in front of her. And I game enjoyed their design around it in the gameplay loop. Well, I liked 20XX, but I probably would not have played not it if it wasn't like. I'm a if it wasn't an obvious Mega Man inspiration arena. thing, you know in what I mean? Combat. And I, it had co-op, which was fun. I'm out here in the middle of the woods. Like I don't a tea <sighs> shop. I don't have a problem so with playing levels over and over again. My problem is well, like obviously because I play Mega Man and you lose all your lives in a stage, you got to do the stage over again. Or in any side scroll you just you you die you got to do the stage again. But my problem is the approach to it. But I'm surviving. Like, the games are designed for you to play the same levels over and over and over and over again. In something like Mega Man, once you've beaten it, you beat the level. If you want to go back, you can, but the level's beat. You don't need to do anything else. That's what I don't like about roguelikes, is you'll play the same levels over and over and over and over again. Even if you've beaten them a million times, you still have to play them over and over and over again. And that's fine with replays of games. But like when it's the first playthrough, where you're playing, just doing a playthrough of the game, now. it's like annoying that you get so far and then you die and you're like, I gotta do all of this shit over I again. I can stop running. This is good for me. I need to enjoy this. I feel good. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I think this girl's uh, having trouble. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I get it. A game... That was I played so many good games this year game that are not roguelikes that made me happy, but I still keep seeing so many of them. If it was just a couple of roguelikes a year, whatever, I don't care, but like, it's like almost every indie game feels like it has to be a roguelike or a metric media if it's a side-scroller or if it's a some kind of genre. It's like, you don't need people to live on your game forever. Just make a fun game and let people play it and then whatever. And if if people like roguelikes, that's I fine. Do. I'm gonna be playing a roguelike soon, or a roguelike lately, uh, on Tuesday. But do I do I like one. them that much? Not really. They called themselves the Sahin. Nine among them were chosen and shielded from death. The unknown nine. Does this have anything to do with why Vincent is here? Humanity has lived for eons at the mercy of the nine. It's time we took control of our own destiny. Anyways, now that I've gone through two trailers complaining about Roblox. Why are you so interested in Vincent, anyhow? He killed someone I loved. Remember stepping. Find your target and bridge the gap. You don't belong here. You're wrong. This is exactly where I'm meant to be. Ah, she has stunned the power. Not really. I know died awakening. Why die? What happened to the other eight? Or it's found something down there. I missed all those sequels. Yes. I finally have something. I want something this. Something that I want to protect. Now steal your heart. Adventure starts. Oh shit. Still has DRM, so no thank you. This game's pretty sweet on Steam Deck. I still need to play the DLC. I need to get this game. If it's half off, maybe I'll get it. Good ones that make or break them, but yeah, let's get into the argument of 
and two man, you know what I'm yeah. That was brutal. Anotira, the last song. Interesting. Interesting. All right, we're back here live for more Summer Game Fest. The first Descendant, powered by Unreal Engine 5, is a next-gen looter shooter with dynamic cooperative gameplay. A looter shooter, a wow. It is finally set for release and we're very happy here to debut the new trailer and the reveal well, i've never seen of one of those before it's a looter shooter now if it's a lewd or shooter then mm. fucking copyrighted music yeah we'll just watch the pretty pictures and talk while it goes thing how's everybody's day today Ugh. Don't mind me just drinking water. Got a copy of Nightshade for the NES today. Oh, Nightshade! Night fucking shade! Oh, God. Oh, Derek. Wow, such thrilling gameplay. It's a looter shooter, though, so who cares? Did a good day at work? Yeah, I had a half day today, so it wasn't too bad. Um, Just a little tired, man. I'll probably... I was going to do a, a, a second stream tonight, but I realized how much um, Summer Game Fest stuff there is that I'm like... um, I'll Just watch all that stuff and then stop and then chill out. Ugh. Uh, oh, the first ascendant. Mm. Can I unmute yet? July 2nd, 2024. Okay, cool. We're good. That looks awesome. The first ascendant sure will be does. available across PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. Wishlist it now and prepare for the release on July 2nd. And now, please welcome two developers whose hit indie game, Among Us, took the world by storm and a couple oh, of game no. awards. <laughs> Among Us. From Inner Sloth, here are Victoria Tran and Forrest Willard. <laughs> What's up, gamers? Oh, God. Well, she she looks awkward Can you and cringe. They just let us be on this stage, like no chaperones. Like 
I know. Can we announce something totally fake? Oh, do you, do like you think they'll let us do that? Among Us 2? Among Us 3? 4? Oh, all right. Well, Among Us 7. Turns out we actually have something very real we wanted to present to you all today. Uh, yes, yeah, There's been sure so many great indie ah, games nice. in recent years, but it's also been a sec no secret that it's kind of a rough time in the industry. Some devs don't really get the chance they deserve, so we thought we could help out a little bit. That's why we're excited to announce our side project, Outer Sloth, an indie game fund we made that Outer Sloth. offers Ooh. the kind of deals we would have wanted back in our less popular Among E days. This is our way of saying thank you to our crewmates, players, peers, by helping some games and devs have the funding and freedom needed to ship their games. Wow, and then we all awesome. get to play them, which was the real plan. I, I really want games. <laughs> Outer Sloth is our passion project and dream for a better, more sustainable industry. We are really excited and incredibly, incredibly nervous <laughs> to reveal it here and show you the current lineup of games so this we is like big to mode. fund because of you. And don't worry, Jeff, it has your favorite, a ton of world premieres. Enjoy! <laughs> oh, so they've already got a bunch of games on. We made Among Us, and it did super fucking well. See, this is cool. As much of a meme as Among Us is now, Hi, I'm Ian it's from cool Shakeshot. that uh, they use it to fund other games. First game, Mars First Logistics. We are Trinket Studios, creators of Battle Chef Brigade, and this is our card battler RPG. Oh, I need to play Battle, Battle Chef Brigade. Suit Aces. We are Studio Any Percent, and we are making The Marsfield Archives, a game about building and exploring connections. Hi, okay. we're Midnight Munches. We just released a demo for One Button Bosses, our boss rush game with a single button to press and a ton of bosses to beat. Hey, I'm Husband, okay. game director at Huscroft. Oh, hey, Rogue. rogue Eclipse. Our it's a roguelike. Like. Rogue -like, where you'll have to uh, monster, your starfighter. At least they didn't hide it. Armadas and vanquish a fleet of colossal super destroyers. That actually looks kind of cool, though. And we do have one more game that's very early in development. Hi, I'm Eka, creative director of Outer Loop Games, makers of Thirsty Suitors and Falcon Age. In our new game, explore the world in an upgradable mech and cook up tasty dishes for local oh, communities. Cool. Fight off corpos, discover new dosa recipes. Oh god, and it's an RPG with as well. Loved ones for one last meal. Project Dosa is a game about life, death, love, and food for the soul. Killing crewmates help make games. <laughs> Thanks, Victoria and Forrest. Those all look fantastic, and I cannot wait to play them. But all of those amazing indie games aren't the only thing coming out of Inner Sloth. Did you know that there's going to be an Among Us TV show? <laughs> what? Sounds like he did. Yes, there's going to be an Among Us TV show. Check out this sneak peek. Oh, God. Oh, God. How? The characters have voices? How will this work? We're not dead. Patton Oswalt's in it? What? <laughs> Sonic <laughs> oh, oh, God. A definitive greatest oh. hit collection of 3D and 2D oh levels from Sonic and Shadow's history. Now it's Ooh. time for a glimpse of Shadow's brand new powers and gameplay from a standalone campaign, as well as the official what? release date announcement. Well, is this for that new Sonic game that was shown off? Needs heroes, they sure do. This looks neat. And anti heroes. 
Oh, hey, Shadow the Horge Hag. Ow the Edge. Sanic. Metal Sanic. Sanic. Shadow. One ultimate collection. I'll overcome every obstacle with this power. Oh god, he has wings now. Shadow X Sonic Sonic X Shadow Generations? Is it a re-release of Sonic Generations with Shadow or is it a new game? You got a refractor shard. The Nightman 39 the cheered. Year of Shadow, X3, right? yes, too bad for you, you is Sega's true stuff. mascot, right. low. In the upcoming mm -hmm. online survival game Dune Awakening from Funcom, there is one small decision that unleashed... I haven't played Generations in a long events, time. Which set the stage for the so wait, sorry, is it a new game or is it just a re-release of Generations time, with uh, Shadow in it? The only peace I find is a future that never happened. Sand. I don't like it. One more and rock gets everywhere. Paul Atreides was never born. Paul Atreides. I Who created Shadow the campaign? future. Oh, okay, gotcha. Until it created me. When I when the I, I create when the future the gets created, I create it back. What if my mother had obeyed her orders? and given birth to a girl. Everything would change. Dr. Yue exposed before his betrayal. A world where my father lives. House Atreides surviving the Battle of Arakeen. Sardaukar deployed to protect the Spice Melange. What if? A war of assassins spreading across the planet. Fremen exterminated. No, Muad'Dib. No, Lizan Al Gaib. No, Kwisatz Haderach. All of my visions lead to horror, except for this one. This one leads to you. Dune Awakening, wow. Open World Survival MMO. More wow. Dune Awakening coming at Gamescom ONL in August. Now it is time to see the announcement of another new yeah, game from a August, brand right? new development studio. Light Speed Rescue. Interesting. You know, I want to see more of that game that was inspired by Mega Man Legends. This is reminding me of that for some reason. Battle Aces. To tell us more about Battle Aces and show you the gameplay, here's David Kim from Uncapped Games. Thanks, Jeff. So Battle Aces is the RTS game for everyone. No, it's an RTS. It's players that are brand new to RTS as well as RTS veterans. We really want to bring the core fun of RTS to everybody, kind of like how games such as World of Warcraft did for MMOs or Hearthstone did for card games. So Battle Aces is an action-packed army versus army game that has a high emphasis on the strategy. We want to bring this type of very specific RTS fun to players in two major ways. First, 
We want I mean, Sab, I don't really play RTSs either, but it's cool that we're getting more of them. This is the type of game we want more of. what very cool is not only will players be able to define the exact way that they wish to play, but also players will be able to experience an endless uh, possibility of strategies. Second, we want to eliminate the tedious clicks required to play an RTS as much as possible so that players playing this game are experiencing only the fun parts of playing an RTS game. So, if you want to learn more about Battle Aces or if you want to sign up for our beta test that's coming up very soon, then please uh, make sure to visit our website at playbattleaces.com. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, David. That was fantastic. All right. Our next premiere unveils the exciting new destination for a game that Shadow dropped at the Game Awards last year, The Finals, with its unparalleled destruction wrapped in the world's most deadly game show. Now, what? after dozens of updates and two seasons, we're unveiling where contestants will be going in the all-new season starting next week on June 13th. Sharpen your katanas and welcome to season three of The Finals. If they hit that reset button. It was called the finals. How come there's a third season? Goto 1580 something. That's interesting, I guess. That's cool, I guess. Halo, reach for the D. Nuts. The finals in Kyoto. All right. Please welcome multiple Game Awards winner and a dazzling Game Awards performer, if I do say so myself, Sam Lake from Remedy. <laughs> Sam Lake with Alan Wake. Oh, God. I think that's enough, thank you. Hi. You see, this is now the only way they let me come on stage to tell you something exciting. News about Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2. He still didn't Many wake up. you have been posting your Remedy Game collection pictures on your shelves with Alan Wake 2 so far digital only sadly missing well we are excited to announce physical deluxe editions and physical collector's editions for alan wake 2 coming this fall you can lock in your copy starting tomorrow next we promised you some expansion content for alan wake 2 right I'm oh, is he to finally going to wake up? i you all to Night Springs. Alan Wake 2. It contains three Night Springs. He might wake three up. Three familiar fan favorite playable characters in mysterious, terrifying, and quirky what if scenarios. I didn't realize it, it didn't have a physical a chance release. for us to really go. I might have to do that then. As if we all If it means did. that they're going to do more physicals. Night Springs will be playable in less than 24 hours tomorrow. Thank you. Now, with this world premiere, I invite you to step into Night Springs. Hmm, interesting. Night Springs, a special place, a shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. 
different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, always familiar to us in Night Scrapers. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. And I will come back for you, my love. And cut. Sean, I'm really happy. This is gonna get strange. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature. Something was different. I gotta try Ellen Lake. Well, I gotta... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? Wait, did she just say that? Deep, the rabbit hole goes Damn it. In Night Springs. Through the endless tides of time, they've come to these mythical shores. Seeking mastery over death itself. A cruel and beautiful paradise. Oh, screen tearing. Where primal forces clash over the island's deepest secrets. Where ancient mysteries awaken. Luna, he's there. Oh, one of them's from Control? Oh, okay. Oh, one of the characters in Alan Wake? I was gonna say, one of the characters looked inter familiar to me. Woo. That's right, New World, New World Eternum will launch on PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC on October 15th. And now you can play the game start to finish as a solo player or play co-op and use cross-play as well. If you're watching oh, really? SGF on TikTok Live right now, that. you can comment HSR in the chat to claim a special in-game bundle for Honkai Star Rail of Stellar Jade from TikTok Game Rewards. And speaking of Honkai Star Rail, Hoyoverse's latest space fantasy RPG just concluded its version 2.3 special program a few we hours just watched ago. that. But there's going more. TikTok to do this. Peek at the upcoming ex expedition featuring a beloved character who is clearly ready for the forthcoming journey with her brand new look. Oh yeah. Why do people choose to sleep? Well, we get a It's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. Oh, these things, right. Everything is possible in this land of dreams. Oh, sparkle. Hey, Robin, I have her. In water, and the future that you don't want to face will never come. Yes, I will get you, Firefly. Hell yeah. I will unlock you, Firefly. I have 41 gold tickets. I'm almost halfway through to get a to get uh, to get a guaranteed. version of March oh my god it's I want it I want her so what do you have to do okay uh, summer game fest tiktok Go to their live stream on there and type in the chat. Comment HSR for Game Awards. HSR.
How do I get the game awards? Or the thing? HSR. Hell yeah. Get some seller jades. Just for typing that in the chat, damn. I gotta keep doing that. Here to load up the game. Oh this game! It's finally coming out? I missed the beta for this. I wanna play this. Dark and darker. Oh, <gasps> Oh, it's out now? Is it out? There you have it, the Unforgiving Fantasy FPS Dungeon PvPVE Adventure Dark and Darker is now live on both Steam and Epic Game Store today. So play it this weekend. All right. Lots of fans are joining us here. In I got to download the that. Theater, and we thank you for that. And ahead of the show, four lucky fans were upgraded to our VIP section thanks to the Discover Orange Ticket Upgrade. With Discover, you don't have to be a VIP to be treated like one. All right, now here's the announcement of the release date for Capcom's upcoming Kunitsugami Path of the Gods. Oh, this game again. Hell yeah. So I got those rewards. Can I still get more rewards by going into the chat in there? I wonder. Uh, where's TikTok? Oh, no, that's Instagram. On Instagram. Where's TikTok? I thought I had it open. Oh, it's coming out in July? Shit. Oh. This looks interesting. Oh, Hyperlight Breaker. Okay. That game. Well, you's a cute little doggy, don't you know? Oh, this game. Well, you's a naughty little doggy, don't you know? It was only for 30 stellar well, jades. I was just for more than that. Coggy, don't you know? Well, you's a gutsy, fasty doggy, and you know that it ain't easy, don't you know? I didn't know Party Animals had a racing mode. That's interesting. Or we know you may have heard the stories about the fine people here at M Corp. So we wanted to take this time to dispel any of these completely unfounded rumors and allegations and reassure you that things here at M Corp and the city of San Vansterdam have never been better. Things are going great here. We have absolutely nothing to hide from the citizens. 
Everybody here at M Corp loves this town. We think this town rules. Why would we hear a town that rules? I can't stop thinking about how you're saying we're selling the city for scraps. That makes me sick. That makes my whole family sick to their stomachs. My wife hasn't been on the toilet for weeks because of what you're saying about what M Corp's doing to this town, all those lies. Everyone at M Corp is really good. Stop crying, all right? This is business. Look around, pal. This is how businesses are run. Now, you should have known that when you were hired on, okay? Jack, tissues, come on, pal. Ah! That's not about this. That's a, that's a father and son. That's actually a home issue. <laughs> we love it here at M Corp. And we are not going anywhere. We'll be here a long time. Creative accounting. Okay. The mcorpwebsite.com. All right, uh, welcome back to Summer Game Fest, and now let's head to Sam Vansterdam for a new look at Skate from EA. Wait, what? Hey, Jeff, how you doing, bud? Oh, crap. Some really bad stuff's happening out there. They're gonna need a lot of help cleaning that up. That's bad. They're just calling it Skate. Man, Skate 4 looking pretty good. <laughs> uh, can I use that meme anymore? Get on it! <laughs> oh god. Famous Owens is gonna have a field day with that. I can't use that meme anymore. Very exciting that people will finally be able to play skate on console in the near future. Our next world premiere is an indie sensation from Japan that is adorable, deadly, and has over 25 million players worldwide. That's right, I'm talking about Power World. Oh, I, I, mean, I haven't played Power World in a hot minute. Depresso. I've been wanting to get back sure into it, though. buddy. It's Summer Game Fest. Now, here is the first major update announcement. A whole new island is coming. Oh man, I gotta get all my badges. Or whatever they're called. Oh, it's Japan land. Okay. Are those new pals I see? Okay, I gotta get caught up. I still don't even have like... Okay, Xbox is getting dedicated servers, finally. New subspecies, oh, okay. Fuck, this might get me to play Power World again. Ooh, we got new raids, nice. I haven't done any of the raids yet. I haven't even got the 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 tech armor yet. I'm still behind. I'm 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 like a level I think I just hit level 30. Oh, she cute. Oh, that's cool. I got to do the rest of the faction bosses too. I just haven't played it in a while when uh June 27th. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I got to get caught up. I might have to start playing Power World again. That was high on the Steam charts. Uh, congrats to uh, Power World on the new update. Next up, we've got a big announcement from Valorant. Here's Andy Ho and oh R. boy from the Valorant, Valorant. Dev team. Guys. I think this is a good time to have another bathroom break. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, everyone. Since 2020, we have been fortunate to serve players in their pursuit of what we call the Valorant moment. The big plays and clutches you make while all eyes are on you. Millions of players all over the world have earned their own Valorant moments on PC. 
And today, the stage is set to welcome a whole new group of players. Let's take a look. All right, looks like I came that back just in time. was Valorant's core tactical gameplay. Everything you just saw was captured on console and with a controller. Valorant is coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S this year. Our limited beta starts June 14th, and you can sign up right now at beta.playvalorant.com. Oh, I wonder we if it'll so install. We are so excited for your input to make sure um, that Valorant plays great on console. And we hope um, to see you soon DRM beta. on your system. But before we go, here's the head of Valorant Studio, Anna Donlin. Thanks, guys. Hey, everyone. One of my favorite things about Valorant has been seeing the community build the game and the sport right along with us. For the last four years, we have been on the most amazing journey, bringing Valorant to players all around the world, most recently to China, where I'm currently at Valorant Masters, one of our largest global tournaments and community celebrations. Seeing the community evolve as new players bring their passion and expression to Valorant has been the biggest joy of the ride so far. And now we are ready and so, so excited to welcome a whole new group of players onto new platforms. We hope you'll join us and we can't wait to see where you take us next. Oh wow, it's Valorant streamers. Just drinking my ginger ale, my Canada Dry. Okay. <laughs> Okay. There we go. 
There's not much of this left. Riot 15 minutes. With Valorant. Thanks for the team at thanks to the team at Riot for sharing that with us here at SGF. Our next announcement is a big deal from our friends at DoorDash. Five weeks of deals with Summer of Dash Pass. Sign up for Dash Pass now for zero dollar delivery fees and get 50% off your next DoorDash order. Now here in the audience, we've got a guy who is normally co-streaming our shows, Yang Ya, who is also an amazing voice actor, who's been in countless games such as uh, Like a Dragon and God of War Ragnarok. Well, next week, Yang is going to be voicing a character in a movie, Inside Out oh. 2, where he plays a fictional video game character, Lance Slashblade. And we've got your exclusive first look. Check this oh, out. Oh, no. Welcome to your eternal fate. Oh, Lance Slashblade? But he's a video game character. Why is he here? Yeah, I always thought Riley had a secret crush on him. I never saw the appeal. I long to be a hero, but darkness haunts my past. Oh, oh no. A hundred percent. We were all <laughs> banished here, deemed unfit, worthless. <gasps> Don't you dare say that. You do not deserve to be thrown away. Uh, one second, Lance. Don't you remember his power move? I'm coming for you, Riley! Oh, yeah? What's this? Come on! No one is totally worthless. But I am a warrior cursed with a feeble attack. Then you must make your curse your gift. Shield yourself, my friends, for I shall set you all free! Oh my the number God. one gaming monitor brand in the U.S., Samsung, just released new 2024 monitors for gaming, work, and entertainment. Scan the QR code now to get up to $300 Samsung credit when you purchase through June 17th, plus a chance to win wow. $5,000 Samsung credit for U.S. residents. Summer Game Pass 2024! Look at all of you cooped up watching video game announcements. And yes, Chicken does look a lot like Ken Jung, and today... Chicken is excited to share a new game that Chicken and Chicken's buddies are in called Squad Busters. You fight monsters, collect lots of shiny things, and it's Chicken a mobile has game. A big role. That's I got a paycheck matters. for this. And here is our big ad. Squad up. Ooh, ooh. I mean, Man, he must have hit hard times if he's doing that shit. What's going on? Who are you? Look at your phone. I'm the chicken. We're here to make your life more fun. I'm fine. I drink, I drink right out of the carton. Well, I don't think you know the definition of fun. Go on, get off. I am butt naked from the waist down, so... Get out of the f***ing bed, dude. Get out of the bed. All right. Tell me about yourself. I, I think I'm an excellent candidate for the job uh, because... Uh, uh, because and your sword play telling me about your sword play. He is a bridge. He's that, one of the most uh, equitable yeah. people I've ever met. So great emotionally. Yeah. Also, I pillaged a few villages. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. I'm just a lumberjack. I just don't think you're qualified to be an accountant. So. W which is why uh, you'll you'll have the job. Oh, <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. What's the parking lot? Like? There's more where that came from. Oh, I I hope not. <laughs> Guys, maybe the everything fuck? is in a squad activity. Relax your bowels, your mind. It had to be Nickelback. These clowns. You call this a squat? Pathetic. Imposter. Jinx. 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 God damn it. Is that Dolph Rugrin? You're going to build a young what? Want to go chop some trees, would you? I'd be delighted. I think our job here is done. Where are you going? You can't leave. Aye, aye, aye. We are never leaving you. Good boy. Here. I came from inside me. Oh. <laughs> this is the most awkward fucking game out of ever seen. Do you want me to shut the door or? Damn it. 
what? All right, please join me yep. in welcoming to the SGF stage hey, Monster Hunter series producer, Mr. <gasps> Riozo Tujimoto. Yes, 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 please. Okay. Hey, thank you, Jay. Please give us the information we're looking for. Thank you, Jeff. Hello, everyone. We've prepared a very special trailer today for Summer Game Fest. I want everyone to be on the lookout for a very mysterious large monster near the end of the trailer, as it's an important monster within the game. Please give us some information. Please, you're killing me. Please, you're Wait. He said something about platforms. As you'll see, we're working to deliver a gaming experience that, immer that merges immersion and action. I hope players look forward to playing with their friends across different platforms when the game launches simultaneously in 2025 on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Okay, but crossplay? Enjoy playing on different platforms. But which one? Why did somebody ask me this question? Lastly, there will be a new trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds at opening night live at Gamescom in August. And our first public hands-on playable demo of Monster Hunter Wilds will also debut at Gamescom. Thank you. Uh, over there! Still not used to the Palicos talking. Oh god, it's Doom Worms. This looks really fucking good. I will draw a tire. Cover me. You got it. Be careful. Be ready. If we can make it to the rocks, we may lose them. Diablos? I'll handle it. You find someplace safe. Thank you. No, nope, still one of those sampling things. I wish they reverse them back to stock cat sounds. Will they go back to Oh, I'm sure. Thank you, Riosa Sun. We will see you at Gamescom in August. We now, still don't know if there's cross-play. Playstation showcase the game Phantom Blade Zero from S Game wowed us all with its blazing fast combat. There's just one piece of information I want. I'm honored to share with Is you it has cross-play? That's all I want. All Does it have cross-play? Here's our final game yes, of the no. show, Phantom Blade Zero. Uh. Don't, don't 
go up there. Turn back before it's too late. really neat though. That looks so good. Full demo that Media will be playing this weekend, so you'll hear much more about that. And that's going to do it for our Summer Game Fest live show. Thanks to Joy for joining us. Thank you, Jeff. I had such an amazing time. Happy Summer Game Fest, everyone. Thanks, Joy. And we have so much more, so stay tuned, because Day of the Devs is coming up live right now on the yep. stream, featuring an hour of indie game reveals, including the next game from Cappy, and that's followed by Devolver Direct. Now, keep checking SummerGameFest.com for other event streams this weekend, and we'll see you again live this August 20th in Germany we go. for Gamescom Opening Night Live. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember, Day of the Devs starts right now. All right. Day of the Devs. Let's do this. Honestly, what I'm more interested in, Day of the Devs. But I will say from summer, the Summer Game Fest thing, Power Rangers is the thing I'm most hype about. But is anybody surprised? But some cool stuff. Two disappointments. Uh, cool looking games that ended up being roguelikes. But, you know, it is what it is.